Hello and welcome to my build update number one for the Ravel Pro Modeler Junkers JU88A1 Bomber. In this update we'll look at building sub-assemblies, priming them, putting down some base coat colours and some highlight colours. This is a body build that I'm doing with Fred F. Fernando Duarte and it's open to anybody that wishes to join in. It's running till the end of March so feel free. Any scale um, kit that you want to build as long as it's a JU88. We have one young gentleman that's joined us, that's Model Master on his YouTube channel. So let's move on. First, the ceremonious bathing. So I cleaned the parts, let them air dry. I then moved on with uh, getting the parts for the flaps, ailerons, horizontal stabilizers and elevators. Glued them together as you can see there. I then got all the parts together for the uh, vertical stabilizer, the rudder and the wingtips and I glued those together and you'll see on the next slide, here we go, all glued ready to go. I then moved on to the wings and I started off by getting the parts together for the starboard wing, the upper, the lower, the undercarriage, mounting bracket and the wingtip parts and, uh, and then I glued those together, clamped and taped the upper and lower halves until they were set and uh, and then I did that with the port side wing and there are all the parts for the port side wing and there you see it's clamped and taped glued together the upper and lower halves and then I put on the bracket the undercarriage brackets and the wing tips as you can see there and smoothed down all the seams I then checked everything and the wing tip seams on the underside had gaps so they're going to need some attention a little bit of filler in there the upper side was okay on the starboard side but there's still a little gap on the port side. I then moved on to the um, inner walls and that's the starboard side inner wall for the cockpit and all the parts that go onto that. And there you can see all the parts assembled onto that and the seat, the fold down seat I put onto a cocktail stick ready for priming. Then I moved on to the inner wall, this is a vet central wall section with a floor that's mounted to it for the um, Bombardier, and that's the bomb site at the front there. That's all assembled, ready to prime. And then I moved on to the port side inner wall and console there below it, and all the parts that go on that handles, levers, and water bottles, etc., etc. And that, there you are, it's all assembled and glued, ready to go. And then moved on to a floor section here, and I think this is an upper wall section. Uh, assembled a lever there, some framing and. Um, a f water tank and then moved on to the inner bulkheads of this is the bulkhead behind the radio operator station and they're the radio parts that I've assembled and on that bulkhead you can see the racks for the uh, uh, magazines and then moved on to the chairs and this is the uh, radio operator's chair they're the, all the parts for that and here it is glued together, that's the underside, next view we show a front top side a little bit of cleaning up to do around there, take some of the uh, mould lines off and a little bit of edge gating and here's another seat that I'm assembling, this is the bombardier seat and there's a gun rack, uh, sorry, a magazine rack that goes on the back of that and that's the pilot seat, the joy stick assembler, steering column and the floor and foot pedals and there they are all assembled ready to go here's the uh, pilot seat and the bombardier seat side by side from the rear view showing the magazine racks and there they are from the side they're ready to go for priming so after doing all the seats I moved on to the wheel assemblies and there are all the separate components to one of the wheel assemblies and I uh, glued those together I kept the wheels separate, I didn't glue them on yet, I'll do that at a later stage when I've painted those assemblies. And here we are, we have uh, both the wheel assemblies there and both wheels ready to paint. I then put the wheels onto uh, um, cocktail sticks ready for priming painting. Next I moved on to the uh, uh, propeller assemblies, so there are all the parts, the components that go onto the propeller assemblies except for the blades. There they are, the back plates all assembled with the bearings on the back and the spinners on cocktail sticks ready to go. And there's some of the parts now all ready, being prepared for priming. 
and here we see everything on cocktail sticks all those co uh, cockpit assemblies ready to go and there's all the um, sprues that I'm taking over to the spray station ready to put a primer on here we have all the first set of parts that I primed and then I took everything back to my bench and there you can see everything that's got a black priming on them that's an aerial view so you can see another shot of those so now the primed I then got the uh, RLM 66 and did a grey um, painted that grey, airbrushed that grey onto all the interior parts and then I mixed a bit of white with that and uh, did some highlights and then after the grey I took everything back to the spray station and it was time to uh, put on a light olive drab onto some of those parts and uh, there you see the parts with the light olive drab airbrushed on and then mixed some white with the light olive drab and did some highlights as you can see on the close up views and uh, here we are some more parts engine housings and uh, moving on to the next slide I'm now going to put on a silver on the propeller assemblies and the propeller blades because I'm going to do at a later stage the air air spray chipping technique because this is a big plane and uh, so I'm going to apply that technique to some areas of the plane including the propeller assemblies so there we are there's everything laid out now as far as I got all the subassemblies assembled the priming done and the base coat colors done and highlighting done and on the propeller assemblies the um, silver base coat Yes, uh, that'll be sealed in with a clear coat and uh, then I'll move on to uh, doing the air spray technique so if next what's next for build update number two is detailing all these sub assemblies and there are some of the parts of the cockpit not all of the parts and I'll be detailing those I'll seal everything in once everything's detailed with a clear coat I'll apply a weather wash and do a bit of, a bit of scuffing and some dirt washing and, uh, and then I'll seal that all in again and that will be everything done for build update number two and then we'll move on to assembling the plane for uh, priming that pre-shading it for update number three so that's it guys that's it for my build update number one I hope you enjoyed it so far and I hope you're going to follow along and uh, I can't wait to get stuck in with the detailing now so thanks again guys and don't forget if you wish to join in it's not too late, we have till the end of March. Tallyo guys, chocks away.